When members of a Catholic congregation in southwest Detroit see something negative, they're used to responding with positivity. And now parishioners at Most Holy Redeemer in Mexico Town taking on the work of helping people get what they need to clean up in the wake of the summer's flooding. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell shows us how we can be a part of the solution. If you want to see people helping others in Metro Detroit, we at 7 Action News have found they're not hard to find. Today, we're taking a look at the work people at a historic church in southwest Detroit are doing. And with kids going back to school and many of our parents not can't afford school supplies, we have actually prepped some backpacks for them. Carmen Munoz is a Christian service coordinator at Holy Redeemer Catholic Church. She works with a team of volunteers to help those in need in southwest Detroit. They help keep food on the table for dozens of families. Giving out food at 1721 Junction Street in Detroit every Tuesday to anyone facing hunger. Our volunteers prep everything and they go up and take it out to our clients. It is a church that has served the community in different ways for more than a century, founded on St. Patrick's Day in 1880. The Detroit Historical Society archived this postcard showing a picture of the Holy Redeemer Church in 1910. And now it is taking on a challenge of the future as climate change causes flooding that has hit people in southwest Detroit hard. Every time it rains, at least one of our streets will be flooded uh, and some of our clients will be affected by it. When Holy Redeemer volunteers saw a significant increase in the need for cleaning supplies because of the many flooded basements, they went to work asking for donations. The community and companies like Target have responded. After the first week that we did that and the people started realizing, hey, Holy Redeemer's Food Pantry is actually helping us with um, disinfecting products and cleaning supplies. What they decided was uh, more people started coming in and we started servicing those clients as well. Um, so it actually grew from our volunteers. That was one of the ideas our volunteers had. The need for disinfectants to clean up after floods is a need that Holy Redeemer does not see going away anytime soon. If you want to help, all of their work is made possible by donations. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.